Let us install OpenCPN on my Samsung A20. This Android phone is a low-end model, but let's see if the Ectus will run well on it. First, we need to download the application. The latest version of this software requires payment and is available on the Google Play Store. Therefore, we will download it as an APK file. Go to Google and search for OpenCPN APK Android. This is the free version of OpenCPN for Android. Let us open this link. The free version is 4.1.1. The latest version is 5.8.4 which is available in Google Play Store. Some updates have been made, but it has almost the same features in terms of passage planning and vessel monitoring. Click this free APK download to download. Click download anyway. It is now downloading. Once downloaded, you can open the application from here or open it in your file manager. Let us go to my file manager. On my phone, it is my files. Let's open it. If you cannot see downloads here, open your storage. Scroll down and find downloads. Open the folder. Find the downloaded application. This is the application. Click on it and hit install. Once the installation is complete, click open. This will pop up. Allow storage because we will store our ENCs in the storage. And since our phone has a built-in GPS, if you want to monitor the vessel's position, then you need to allow your location. Click continue below to proceed. We have here a disclaimer from OpenCPN, kindly read this. And hit OK. We have already enabled the internal GPS, just click OK. OpenCPN has already been installed on the Android phone. But if we zoom in, no chart details are available. We need to install the charts or ENCs to use this software. So go to setting. But before we proceed to chart installation, check these boxes for smooth panning and zoom to cursor, then hit apply. Next we will install the chart. In the above menu, select charts. Then click this arrow to scroll right. Click on Chart Downloader. Next, click Add. Click this plus sign to expand. These are all the charts that we can download from the Chart Downloader for free. If you want to download all US charts, click All. Then below, click on Select a Folder. It will open your phone storage. Select a destination folder where you want to save the downloaded charts. If you want to save it in the download folder, click on the download folder to open it. Below, click OK. So our chart directory is in the download folder. Click OK. Click this file to open the selected charts. These are all the US ENCs that we can download. If you want to download all these charts, you need to check all the boxes on the left side. To select all, select one of the charts and hold the lift click until this option appears. Click on select all. All charts now are selected. You can now download 4457 charts. Left click on download selected charts to start the download. It is now downloading. It takes time to download 4457 charts.
I have already downloaded all these ENCs and compiled it into one folder. For your convenience, you can download all of these charts in the comments section, kindly check the link below. So I will abort the ongoing download. If the downloads are complete, click the apply button, and then hit OK to display the charts. Since I cancelled the download, no charts have been displayed. Let us go to another way of adding the ENCs to the directory. If you have downloaded a compiled ENCs from below, it is in a zip file. We need to extract it. Click on this zip folder. Then below, click Extract. You can rename the extracted folder. I will name it ENCs underscore compiled dash extracted. Click Extract. It is now extracting. It takes several minutes to extract 20,203 files. I will fast forward the video. The extraction is complete. Let us go back to the download folder. This is the folder that we will add to the directory of our ECTIS to install the charts. Always remember the destination folder of these compiled ENCs. We need it during the installation. Let us go to the newly installed OpenCPN on our Android phone. To install the charts, go to Setting. Select Charts. Under Chart Files, click Add Directory. It will open your storage. This is the folder with ENCs inside. If you cannot find it here, and if it is in the download folder, then scroll down and find the download folder. If you cannot find it, click this folder with no file name to open, then find the download folder. If the download folder is still missing, click this folder again to open it. If you already found the download folder, click to open it. Scroll down and find the extracted ENCs you have downloaded. This is the folder, ENCs underscore compiled dash extracted, click to open it. Then below click OK. We have already added it to the directory. Left click on this file, then below click apply. It takes time to install more than 1 gigabytes of ENCs. I will fast forward the video. After the installation, Click OK to display the chart. It also takes time to load the ENCs. I will fast forward the video again. If this is the features of your OpenCPN, it means that you have successfully installed your ENCs. Let us check this Dover straight. Chart details are already available. Let us check the Singapore Strait. It is also installed. Let us see the US charts. It is also installed. To display a text in the charts, Go to the three dots in the right upper corner. Then click Toggle ENC Text. Names will be displayed or undisplayed in the charts. Let us go to Setting. For the display, if we go to Units, here you can select the preferred units to be used. Let us go to Chart. Choose Vector Chart Display. By default, the display category is set to standard. If you set it to Mariner standard, below you can check the chart information you like to display, and uncheck the chart information to be hidden. For now, I will set it to standard. Here you can set it to a 4 or 2 color scheme. These colors will depend on the set safety parameters below. I have made a separate video on how to determine these values, kindly check the link in the description. For the connection, 
since our phone has a built-in GPS, once we switch on our location, click this ship symbol to display the vessel's position. If you are finished with the setting, click the apply button below, and hit OK. Let us click this ship symbol. Since I am not on board, the ship's position is here in my present location when I made this video. So if you are on board, and you have installed this software on your Android phone, you can monitor your ship's position even if you are in your cabin, as long as you switch on the location on your phone. Let's try to make a short passage plan along the TSS. Go to three dots in the upper right corner. Select Create Route. I will try to create a route using my index finger. If you are finished creating a route, long press on your phone screen until an option appears. Select End Route. This is the route I created. Click this route manager to know the details of the route you created. This unnamed route is what we have created, left click on this, then go to properties. Scroll down. Below you can see the information about the created route. We have the waypoints, distance, coordinates, and other information. Let us go to object query. If you want to know the information about an object, point your finger at that particular object until an option appears. Then select Object Query. This is the detailed information about the selected object. It might not be easy to create a passage plan on your phone, but for those maritime students who do not have a PC or laptop, this might help with your training in ECTUS. I have made a separate video on how to install OpenCPN on a laptop or PC, kindly check the link in the description. That's all for now, thank you for watching, bye.